Oh, show me. Oh, no. That's it. There she is. Out of her bed. Okay, so we've spent the last week trying to get the girls to stay in their beds at night. And it has been a total nightmare. And so I ask in my triplet group. <laughs> uh, look at your nose. Put your head back down here. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, we've been trying to get figure out how to keep them in their cribs, and nothing's been working. So I asked my triplet group, and they suggested crib tents. So I ordered them, and that's what we're doing tonight. Is we just got them, and I'm so excited because I didn't get any sleep last night at all. Here it is. It's like a little tent, and they just have a zipper on it. it keeps everything inside. Hopefully, that's the plan. Cause look. No, cause that's gonna have a zipper on it. Oh. Um. Anyways, I thought this would be easier than trying to figure out the whole bed thing right now. Give us a little bit more time until they're a little older, and they can understand to stay in their beds. Maybe hopefully a little bit easier. Tonight goes. Um, it should go a lot better than what my previous nights have been because I have just put kids back in their beds about 50 times a night and it's been awful. Oh, look! Oh, is that one for you? Chessie, uh -huh. is that one for you? She's so excited. Did you get the diapers and wipes? Oh, Brooks and Daddy. 
And so is Gertie. He's so Gertie cute. Just hanging out. With He's love. the cutest. <laughs> it's almost time for bed. Perhaps you princesses should pull out your royal sleeping bags. Yay! Sleeping over is the most fun part of the Princess of Pink slumber party. So we just got all their uh, crib tents up, but they don't seem like overly thrilled about it. Uh, I, they just are sad that they have to go to bed. Give each other a hug. Give <laughs> hugs for night night. Oh, that's so nice, Chesney. <laughs> All right, this is the finished product. This is Journey's, Chesney's, and then Tatum's is over here. And we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> oh, it's that face. Okay, we'll let you guys know in the morning if we think they're worth it or not. See Grandma. You want to see Grandma? Yeah. Says Grandma lives too far away. Come on. See Grandma. He's out. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm sitting in the, in the bathroom right next to their room because I just kind of like want to see um, how long they're upset about this. Like, they're not really happy about the new arrangement. I didn't expect that they would be. Um, they've had about a week where they've had a little bit more freedom and they've been like getting out of their cribs. It's been actually really, really tough. To, to get them to stay in their room because they can also open the doors. So I ended up like switching the doorknob so that they couldn't open it. I turned them around so I could lock them from the outside. And I luckily have that Dutch door on their room so I can easily like lock the door and still see them and um, get to them easily. So that helps, but um, I kind of, I, I don't know, I feel kind of like bad about locking them in their cribs, but I think it's a lot safer um, um, than them getting out in the middle of the night and I don't know what they're doing in their room. So I last night I ended up taking out like their dresser and everything because I was like so worried about um, if they were gonna like tip it over on them or anything like that. So I think this is like really good for their safety even though like it feels kind of weird locking them in their cribs but um it's really no different than when they couldn't get out of their cribs so i i don't feel too bad about it and i really think in the long run it'll be definitely worth it or actually tonight it will be definitely worth it um it's been so it's just been so hard with them getting out and then I'm worried what they're doing and then they fall asleep on the floor and i hate that so then i go put them back in their crib and and then it starts all over so um yes i'm really hoping for a really good night um i'm hoping that they sleep more soundly knowing that they're just in their cribs and they don't have the option of getting out and coming to me i really actually think that'll help them sleep better as well oh one of them's still yelling um yeah it probably feels a little strange to them to have like that keeping them in now since they were getting out. I think if you actually started a, like your child in one um, in the beginning, they'd just be like, it would be normal. So they wouldn't, um, they would be freaking out like mine tonight. I actually can sleep and they can sleep and we'll all be happy tomorrow. But that's the plan. So, um, yep, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning. You shook, ready to get out? Shook. You're stuck. You're stuck. 
You you ready? You wanna open it? Yeah. It's you're a princess bed. You have a princess bed. It's so pretty. Last night was so worth the cryptics. I was looking at me. Is that what you <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> my voice is like, <laughs> it's gone, um, I sound so bad, um, but I wanted to finish up this video and tell you guys how last night went with the crib tents, even though I sound retarded. <laughs> if you have multiples, I would definitely, definitely recommend this. Um, or if you have a child that just likes to get out of his bed and you're not ready, quite ready to transfer them into a toddler bed, this worked amazing. They all went right to sleep. Like it was five minutes and they were asleep. Um, I think just taking out like their, them knowing um, that they could get out of their cribs, out of the equation, just taking that out. Um, they just like, they just laid down and went to sleep. And then, um, they couldn't throw all their stuff out. Usually they throw things out and then just want, they just want me to get it and put it back. So that's how they keep me in the room. They'll just say blinky, blinky or whatever, like puppy or whatever animal they have and they'll throw it out and then they cry for it. And that's been kind of annoying. So I like only do it a couple of times and then I like leave and anyways. Um, but this has been so good. It keeps everything in there, including your child. And they can't get out and open the door and um, I am I could sleep better knowing that like they weren't running around the room. Um, so yeah, definitely a good purchase this time. I'm going to try to keep them in there for probably like another year. And then um, maybe at like three I'll switch them to a toddler bed when they can understand it a little bit better. And um, I think it will go more smoothly then. Right now I just see them like never going to sleep and me probably going crazy. So, very happy with it. Um, even for their nap, I put them in for a nap today already. They're up there right now, and they went right to sleep. So, happy mommy right here. Um, yeah, well, I'm just looking at my board. I need to like put some letters on there. It's like has a Z. It's kind of boring, anyways. Um, I'm going to finish up the video, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and if you're trying to decide if you want a crib tent for your toddler. Um, Alright, guys, see you next time.